Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools quick tip, I'm going to show you how to bounce your mix in mono and in stereo and why you might want to do so. And remember, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, you can leave one below the video or get in touch with me personally, justin at wingsound.com. Let's say you got a full mix going on and um, you know, you're, you're finished your mix and you're ready to bounce it. What you want to do is bounce it in stereo as you usually would and then you want to bounce it in mono as well. So what you want to do is just, you know, highlight whatever regions you want to bounce, you know, whatever part of your mix you want to bounce. File, bounce to disk. And then what you want to do is go over to where it says format right here. And then you want to click here and choose mono summed. So basically it'll sum your mix, your stereo mix to mono and then just bounce it as you usually would. So the reason why, why you might want to do this is because sometimes when you sum your mix to mono, you might lose, um, you know, some of the instrumentation of your uh, song, your track. And what you want to do is make sure that when you do sum your mix to mono, that none of these instruments are missing from your mix. So, you know, if some are, you want to go back and, you know, quickly make adjustments to, you know, fix that. And I already uh, bounced this quick uh, drum loop here to mono and stereo, and I'll play the stereo one first and then the mono one, and then listen to the differences in the mix. Okay, and now here's the mono. So for the most part, you know, all the instrumentation is there. And, you know, the only thing that's lacking is, you know, the panning of the hi-hat within the stereo field, which is, you know, of course, because it's some to mono. Now, if you, you know, um, if you have an interface with multiple outputs, what you would want to do is create a second master fader that's a mono master fader. So this way you don't have to go through the bouncing. You can just, you know, check the different faders while you're mixing. Make sure you follow Wing Sound on Twitter and Facebook to stay connected to a stream of new videos as well as cool music production links. Twitter.com slash Wing Sound or search for Wing Sound on Facebook.